Hello, gourmet friend. Today we are going to do a Béarnais sauce. One of the best French sauce, but also the more delicate. This sauce goes very well with grilled steak and grilled fish. The texture is soft, silky and creamy. The flavor is delicate. So without further ado, let's make one. Remember at the end, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel and click the notification bell. You won't miss my next video. The Béarnais sauce is done with a few ingredients. We need butter, clarified, eggs, shallots, and specially vinegar of tarragon or vinegar. And tarragon, fresh tarragon from the garden if you got some, or you can use the tarragon leaves. A bit of parsley, salt and pepper, that's all. Uh, firstly, you have to clarify the butter in a bain-marie to obtain a clear melted butter, a little bit like oil. It's called the clarified butter. Then, now, you can dice your shallots in very thin pieces. Now, on low heat, in a saucepan, add your vinegar, then the shallots, the tarragon, the black pepper and the salt, and reduce slowly. Cook now on a medium heat to reduce to 80%, uh, roughly 6 minutes. It is called the reduction. When reduced, you will obtain two soup spoon of reduction. Let it cool down before adding the yolk. During this time, I'm going to decant the butter. I am leaving the milky substance in the bottom of the bowl. I will only use the liquid butter. Oh, by the way, cooking with the clarified butter will increase the smoking point. Reduction has now cooled down. I can add the yolk and start to beat them at the room temperature. When it starts to increase in volume and become shiny, it's ready. Then you can start to bring the pan to slow it and start to beat. Check constantly the temperature of your pan with the palm of your hands. I'm going to whisk constantly and vigorously until we obtain a thick sauce. The pan is on a slow flame and I'll be putting the pan in and out because we don't want to overcook the eggs. We don't want to open scrambled eggs or worth an omelette. If your pan is too hot, keep beating outside the flame and bring the pot on the cold surface. Increase the temperature gradually until you obtain a nice creamy texture. Because the eggs uh, uh, will curdle at 60 degrees. The eggs start to coagulate at 60 degrees. The perfect temperature is 66. But technically, we don't have time to check the temperature. By putting your hand on the, on the bottom of the pan and if your hand is burnt, that means the temperature is too hot. That's the best you can do and the best system to succeed in me making a beautiful Béarnais sauce. If it's too hot, it will separate and you will have to start again all again. I am checking the texture. When I reach the perfect consistency, you can add slowly the clarified butter and whisk non-stop and back on low heat. 60-65 is hot enough to cook the eggs and cool enough not to curdle. You can now see the eggs and the clarified butter turn up like a nice creamy texture, but still check the temperature with your hand. When it starts to be too hot, still whisk 
but on the bench, non-stop, adding more clarified butter. And you will obtain the best Béarnaise on the planet. Of course, you can use a mixer, but it's not the same. When you use the mixer, uh, it becomes too hard, and then you have to uh, put a bit of water or vinegar, so it's not good. Okay, I prefer the Béarnaise made by hand, it's the best. Now your Béarnaise emulsion is ready. At the end, just add some Italian crushed parsley. Check the seasoning. And you'll obtain a delicious Béarnaise ready to serve. Now look at this beautiful Béarnaise sauce. Look at the texture. Soft, shiny. Silky, look at this texture, the perfect Béarnaise sauce. Now you can spray it on your grilled sirloin steak or fillet or fish. I'm having a little bit to try, just to show you that it's good. So it's cooked just rare. Mmm. The best sauce in the world. <laughs> Amazing. Look at this beautiful sauce. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's make an effort for the presentation now. Now, oh, this one, that's the best bearness you can make. It's nice, full of flavor, soft. Silky, oh, and very nice to taste. And like we say in France, voila! Well, this sauce goes very well with uh, grilled meat, like you can see on the picture, and it goes very well also on grilled fish and sometimes on asparagus. Now, if you like this video, thank you to put the thumbs up, subscribe, to support the channel and ring this bell, you will never miss my next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.